Hey y'all, what's up? I'm on a walk again. <laughs> After the rain, oh my gosh, it smells so good out here. <sighs> I love how it smells. After a big rainstorm, I love it. You guys, I'm ready for this cool weather. We're supposed to be in the 60s. And then ne um, November 1st, we're supposed to get into the 50s for the high. Oh, I love fall. I don't like the leaf burning, but I love fall. Fall is like my favorite thing. And, uh, you know, just getting some exercise. Trying to lose a few pounds. Nothing wrong with that. And, uh, you know, okay, so the Lord just put this on my heart to make this video. And so I'm going to make it. And we're going to just chat for a little bit. So, <sighs> y'all. So, if, okay, so, um, with, if you guys didn't see the one video that I made, I have to make one little correction on that video. I'm just going to make the correction here. Um, my mom had called me and said, hey, we got a bunch of rain and stuff, but we also all had a tornado warning. And I thought she said, oh, a tornado watch. I'm like, wait, that's weird. And then once I talked to her again, she's like, no, we never got a watch. It just jumped into a warning. Like, I'm like, well, yeah, okay, that makes more sense because California in its entirety, like, as long as I've known and seen it, <laughs> like, the chance of getting a tornado is like 0%. Like, I don't even know if there's a tornado on history record for California at all. And then apparently, the tornado warnings in California were popping up like crazy. And so I don't know what the tornadoes did or anything like that. Um, I, you know, I'm still not really looking into it. But the Lord had spoken to me and said, there's my warning. There's my warning. I was like, okay, there's your warning. Now what mm, excuse me I was like okay Lord so what does your warning mean and he told me don't you see don't you understand I'm angry I'm upset I'm to my breaking point and I am fixing I'm getting ready to unleash my wrath upon the earth but not before I come and get my children. But this is a sign of the time. And this is a just a sneak peek of what is going to happen to this earth. And he said, yes, it is going to be more likely that I will have more tornadoes pop up in places where tornadoes are not typically found. And he just said, you guys need to be on the lookout for his, for his warnings. And th this just takes me to this, uh, to this verse. And I'm, I'm not going to be able to quote it word for word. But the Lord said, in the word of the Lord, the heavens and the skies will declare my glory and the signs of the times. Wow! Okay. In Oklahoma, you're like, oh, tornado. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> There's a few other states you're like, oh, it's a tornado. But California, it's like, tornado? What the freak do we do, man? And if you've never, if you've never been around tornadoes and I mean, seriously, it's a scary thing. I mean, I made my husband get us a cellar. Um, because I'm like, I am not getting stuck in a tornado. I was like, I'd rather have my life and lose the house and everything from a tornado than, 
you know, lo lose my life because of a tornado. So, okay. And the Lord just told me, well, that goes back to, I'm your safe place. You seek me. In the storm, I am your safe place. And if you lose everything in the storm, you still have me. The Lord is just amazing when he speaks, y'all. So amazing when he speaks. But he's telling me I need to give you guys, because there's some people who live in a place where <laughs> you think that you're never going to see a tornado in your entire life. So, if you don't have a storm cellar, if you don't have like a basement or something underground or some or a structure that can withstand a tornado, then hold on. Sorry guys, I had to get onto my dog and say we're digging holes in my yard, it's probably going for them gophers. Um so the Lord, the Lord's just telling me that these are some tips that might just help you survive a tornado, but the best is to have a storm cellar or be near a basement of some kind. I don't know, if I ever move to another state and they're like, oh, we don't ever get tornadoes there, I'd be like, um, I need a tornado shelter, cellar immediately, please. Yeah, 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 install it. Like, that would be me. Like, I ain't taking no chances. Um, so, just some safety tips. These are just standard little safety tips that may or may not save your life during a tornado. Like I said, the best way is to be in a basement or a cellar or some structure that is meant to withstand tornadoes. So, <coughs> so tip number one, grab your mattress off your bed. Drag it to your bathroom, get it in your bathtub, and put it over you and your family and stay there until the warning has passed or go into a hall closet and pray and hope to God that your house doesn't get hit or that portion of your house that you're in does not get hit by the tornado and that you are safe. If you're driving and your tornado warning goes off, find the closest ditch or bridge and uh, if you get in the bridge crawl under there and hold on to the legs for dear life and if you're in a ditch try to make sure it's a really deep narrow tight ditch that way hopefully you'll resist being sucked up by the tornado other than that try to find a storm cellar get underground until it's safe to come back up and that's really all the <laughs> that's really all that you can do i know it doesn't sound like a lot but it can and cannot save your life there's a risk my dogs are weird I love them though. Um, but anyways, you guys, the Lord says just like the people that that are unprepared with a tornado. I mean, and why would you be prepared for a tornado in a place that you never get them at all? And. Uh, just like the people in California who weren't expecting a tornado, the tornado came out of nowhere because they weren't prepared. And um, the Lord is just telling me right now, just like people know about the Lord and his coming, they're not going to be prepared for when he comes and he is going to come quickly. And unexpectedly to those who are not waiting and seeking and looking for his return. 
the Lord says he is coming quickly. He is coming unexpectedly. And we need to be on guard, searching for him in the sky. The Lord says, look to the sky. It will tell of his wonder and majesty and of, and of his great return. He says, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived by things of this world. And do not be distracted by things of this world. Because if we are distracted and we are more focused on the things of this world, we will miss the glory of God. We might miss his return because we decided to let the world distract us. <laughs> Guys, in everything that I do, literally if it's a fun thing, if it's just cleaning the house, watching TV, walking, making a video, I live with the expectation that I am going to be gone at any second. Any second. So I'm living with this, this expectation, this knowing, this knowledge. And, and I do, I think to myself throughout the day, like, man, I, I could be raptured right now. And this is how everything will be when I leave or, you know, I could be hugging on my dog and poof, or giving my husband a kiss or on the phone with my husband or, you know, there's so much I could be doing. I could be driving. I just, I just keep thinking about every little second and how it's so precious to the Lord and it's so Every second that the Lord has told us we will be here on this earth or has granted us, we, we don't know when we don't know when we're leaving, but the Lord's granted us each a specific amount of time. And you guys, we're gonna be out of here soon. And we just need to be ready for it. We need to be ready to meet Jesus at any second. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm so excited. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to get off here, finish my walk, upload this video, and hope to see you guys in heaven, in the rapture, or my next video, whichever the Lord decides. All right, bye, y'all.